Hi all, hope you're having a good day today. Um, I'd like to um, just quickly go over um, a heat exchanger and its purpose and how it actually works. Uh, so very quickly, um, you have your water that goes in here and then basically it exits out through here. It travels along all these plates, these exchange plates, and in between um, each individual plate is a separate plate. And that separate plate actually connects up to your oil side. So um, water goes through here and um, basically the temperature of the water is cooler than the temperature of the oil. So it exchanges its heat and when the oil exits out of here back into the filter uh, and back, back into the engine essentially, uh, it's reduced its temperature to the um, operating temperature of the water. Um, a problem that I see quite often on these is um, having oil inside your coolant. So I'm going to show you a quick way how to diagnose your, um, your heat exchanger for your uh, oil filter or your oil filter housing to see if this is actually the problem or a blown heat gasket. So um, I felt the need to post this, so here we go. Okay, so here's your, here's your exchange here. And the gaskets that we commonly replace are, is this one here. So the chances of this one here um, being affected by water is quite low. It's going to be on this side here where the exchange is, where, where the actual um, liquid and oil have a possibility of coming into contact. So remove those um, screws, those Allen screws, and then you can remove the, the exchange, the heat exchange. So we've got now essentially two pieces. We've got the actual heat exchanger here and uh, your input and output for the um, oil. So this is where the oil goes in, um, travels through to the plates of the heat exchanger and then cools itself down. Anyway, this part here uh, can be commonly overlooked. So if we have a look inside here, this is where your oil will, will go in, into this heat exchange and then um, it will come out the other side. If, you've, if you're able to blow air into this, block one side, and you get bubbles coming out of the plates at all, whatsoever, then you know that you've found the problem. Um, with these exchange plates, because of the pressure of the oil is higher than uh, the pressure of the water, the, the oil should always enter in to the water. So um, let's give that a go. So I've set up the sink here. So here's the sink. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it, but we'll give it a go. So I'm going to put this, submerge this in the water, just so these, all the bottom plates, excuse me, are in there, like so. Okay, you just want it in there like that. I'm blocking one side with my thumb, and this is going to be crude, but I'm going to put my lips and uh, make a seal over this hole here, and then just blow into here. If bubbles come out from the other side, we know that there is a uh, breach in the plates. So here we go. So what I can tell you is that uh, there is a breach in these plates and this exchange here is faulty and there is nothing you can do to repair it. So when I was blowing into the into this hole here and blocking one, bubbles were coming out of here, out of both sides. So we know that there is a breach from the oil chamber into the water chamber on these plates and this 
This is the reason why this vehicle is spitting up to five litres of oil within a couple of hours in to the coolant. So I hope this helps you and I hope you have a great day. If you have any questions, let me know.